holding a Martin D35, came out in the early 70s, this model. Actually, they might have started making them in the late 60s, I believe they did, but this one was made in, uh, I think, 1973. Martin uh, started building guitars in 1833, and uh, there are still descendants from that family that run that company. So it's a family-owned uh, business since 1833, which is very uh, rare in our country. This guitar has a uh, mahogany neck, binding. It seems like all my guitars have binding on the neck, you know, this white binding that enc encases the, the uh, fretboard, right? Uh, this is an ebony fretboard here. Very hard, dark wood. Very common in uh, guitar making. It's got uh, Grover machine heads. This is all stock. Nothing's been changed on this guitar. So it came with these Grover machine heads. And there it is right there, the Martin Company established in 1833 on the decal there. Uh, it's got a ebony, bridge, bone saddle, right? This is a spruce top. I used to think that uh, what determined whether it was high quality spruce or not was how tight the grain is, you know? But I've been seeing uh, expensive models that have wide grain and tight grain where the, you know, the lines are real close together. So it's more of uh, how good it sounds rather than uh, how it appears, I think. So uh, this has got uh, Indian rosewood. And if you notice on the back, it's got a three-piece back. And the reason for that was, and I don't know if it was because of a fire that they had at the Martin uh, Corporation. I don't think so. I think it was because they had a lot of scraps of wood laying around. and. Uh, they couldn't make a two-piece back with it because the, uh, you know, the the, uh, the plates were so small. So they were able to come up with this design and take advantage of all the wood that they uh, had and make these three-piece backs. Now, uh, it doesn't uh, take away any quality from the sound at all. I mean, with the right kind of bracing inside and the and the quality wood, I mean, it sounds just like a D28 or. Uh, other models that have a two-piece back. So this is Indian rosewood and uh, Martin started making uh, their guitars out of Indian rosewood in the late 60s because of the shortage of Brazilian rosewood. And uh, uh, Brazilian rosewood uh, is considered an extinct wood now. So guitars that are made out of Brazilian the rosewood are very expensive. Uh, usually top-of-the-line type guitars. Um, I wouldn't say that they sound that much better, or better for that matter. It's just that it's a collectability, and the Brazilian wood is a lot more figured, you know, with a lot more uh, grain and pe patterns in the wood, so it's more decorative to look at. I did hear that uh, they were pulling the old stumps out of the ground and are able to salvage a lot of uh, Brazilian rosewood uh, from stumps that are still under the ground so when they go in there and they pull it out you still get a lot of, a lot of materials for building. So. song starts with a guitar, right? Acoustic guitar. So when they write these country tunes, uh, usually it's based on the sound of the acoustic guitar and not the electric guitar. So uh, when you listen to uh, popular uh, current country music, try to see if you can pick out the acoustic guitar in there. singer's guitar because it's so loud, you know, you don't need amplification to accompany yourself with it. It's like having a mini piano at home.
beautifully made instrument. I mean, Martin is all about quality, and uh, they don't have a lot of competition. There, there are a lot of boutique companies that make custom acoustic guitars, but uh, Martin is a real, real established company. Anyway, there you have it, Martin Acoustic D35.